What's happening, everyone? JT, the trucking guy, back at it here. Day four of uh, on the road training. And we're here in uh, Stockton, Montana right now. Here in Bozeman, Montana. It's really beautiful out here. Really nice. Just snowed a couple of days ago, so there's still a couple. Of, there's still a little bit of snow on top of the hills there and whatnot. But uh, I just wanted to shoot this quick video here, just to uh, how it's going. So I've done nothing but night driving up until this point. Um, we're on the way to Kent, Washington. We went all the way from uh, Franklin, Kentucky. So uh, we're doing that, and uh, these night drives have been interesting. I hadn't driven a truck at night, uh, so this is my first experience driving a truck. Uh, at night on interstate highways on state highways and it was also my first experience on um, driving in the snow well, not necessarily the snow the ice and there was some uh, p p p uh, there were some places where we were driving to the other night where there was some ice buildup on the roads and I had never really coming from Texas South Texas especially, you don't see a ton of ice on roads all the time, so it's really hard to kind of make out what it is. But the best way that I can put it is up in places where it snows and whatnot, it's gonna look like black gunk after it gets kind of hard. And that's how you'll know that you might be trailing on some ice, might be shiny a little bit. So I didn't really notice it at first. And so I was driving on it a little bit and I was probably going about maybe 55, uh, 60 probably, something like that. And uh, I felt it, I felt the whole entire truck, the tr a tractor and the trailer skid, and I actually kind of swerved a little bit. I started losing a little bit of control, but what I wanted to say is I got it back under control, didn't need any help, uh, and I'm gonna give just quick some tips here on how to get out of skid. It was my first time experiencing what a skid felt like, so I thought I would share my experience with it and uh, for those of you that maybe haven't experienced what a skid is and how it's how how it feels on ice it just kind of feels like you lose control of everything for a minute your, your truck and tractor start kind of going a little bit like this to the wayside and you're kind of swaying like that and you almost feel like you can't get under control the best thing to do is one do not hard brake the moment you hard brake is the moment you're probably going to lose control of everything so just take your foot off of everything take your foot off the accelerator take your foot off the brake and start steering light, light, light steers. Don't don't jerk the wheel in the direction that you feel the skid going because then you're just gonna make it worse. So what I did was I just kind of, I felt it skidding, kind of freaked out a little bit because it was the first time I've ever felt this. And <laughs> I was like, shit, 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 shit. Because I felt like I was losing control of the truck and the trailer. So I, I kind of, I, I felt where my skid was going, calm down for a minute. I just kind of slightly kind of steered towards the skid and then brought the truck back kind of light, light, light touches on the steer and I was able to get control of it back and I got control of it back really really quickly like it didn't take me that long you know granted uh, it was pretty it was a scary moment but I was able to get control of it back and from that point uh, I knew what I was looking at as far as what I was looking at uh, when it came to ice on the roads and from that point on I just kind of took it slow took it easy stayed off of any pieces that I felt that were uh, that were icy uh, tried to stay on the driest parts of the road um don't let other people on the road intimidate you if you feel like you need to take up the left lane because it's the safest lane on the road at that time you're going 50 55 people might get pissed off start honking at you or, or feel like they want to pass you go ahead and let them it, you're the captain of your ship and you have to be safe so don't worry about what anybody else is doing concentrate on what you're doing on those kinds of situations like that and let everybody else kind of go and you know themselves kind of thing but i just want to thought i'd share that with you guys but uh, it's a beautiful day out here and i'll get back at it later on but uh hopefully i'll soon i can post some actual video footage and whatnot of the drives but stay tuned guys i'll talk to you later